So we have learned that the unit in the spinal cord which produces the reflex actions is called as reflex arc. So we have taken the cross section of spinal cord in which we are studying the arrangement of neurons and how the reflex action is produced in the spinal cord. The information about the stimuli is taken by one neuron that is analyzed by another neuron. The decision to the effector organ is carried by another neuron. So three different types of neurons are involved in execution of a reflex arc. Three different types. Now let us see what are the various parts involved in the execution of reflex arc. Here I told you three types of neurons. Three types of neurons. What are they? The first one is here sensory neuron. Sensory neuron. The sensory neuron, it carries the information. Here the fingers touch at the hot object. So the hot information is carried by the sensory neurons to this particular part of the spinal cord. It brings still here. So here the second one who is receiving the information from the sensory neuron and analyzing it and taking the decision that is the association neuron. Now the third one which carry the orders to the effector is called as motor neuron. So it carries the information, the decision, what has to be done here. Here the muzzle in the hand contracts, so by that the hand it raises up. So this muzzle, the muzzle in the hand is called as effector. That means it is affected by this decision. So that is the effector. So these are the various parts that are involved in a reflex action. And a reflex arc, it consists of three different types of neurons. Here, it also involves one receptor, one effector. Receptor receives the information. Effectors creates a movement. In between these receptor and effector, sensory neuron, association neuron, and motor neuron. These three neurons execute the reflex action. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.